sorry guys, just had to get myself sipped up because um, I'm going to be doing this preview outside for you today um, for a change, instead of the same location ahead of the big um, Ireland versus Italy game uh, on Sunday in the Six Nations um, you've said big, um, it's, I don't know for Ireland's sake it's a it's sort of a go for size of the depth rubber, rubber but um, it's an important game I will say, especially in the Six Nations because um, you know, Ireland have um, won the first game against Wales you have to say it was really um, sort of good in a way, but um, you know Wales um, were very very poor on the day, and um, you know Ireland sort of um, got their first one on the belt. Um, could have been more in my opinion, but you know that's how Ireland played out, and I'm very happy with the win. Um, but then we had a big game against France recently, and um, you have to you would have to you have to say that um, you know it's um, they aren't very confident going into that game. You, you, have, you definitely have, you would definitely say it was, it was a very very even game. Um, heading, heading into it from some predictions, but uh, yeah, I think. You know the France game was very um, it was sort of even, even but it, I think it was slightly more France in my opinion. You know France got to, off to a very good start in a minute and a half. You know what I mean? And just for that point, we're only going to be able to keep up with. But then uh, one of the best tries I think I've seen from the Six Nations where Mac Hansen just um, from from the kickoff just gets the ball and over line he goes, no one can catch him. Um, and then uh, you know it's very very much the case that um, after that you know France kind of dominated the first half. Ireland were they weren't out of the game, but you just saw thought if if Ireland you know kind of drop off in the second half, it could fade away. But you know, um, but for Brad Ireland to come back at least, you know, what I mean, you know, give some poor good try over and you know just want to flare. Um, but unfortunately, it just wasn't the case, and we just came up short. Um, and and um, I had to this game. you have to say, do you want to give? Do you want to? Um, keep the players that you've got, that um, keep that win, hopefully that winning culture going. You know, um, not win say winning culture, but the, you know, had the you know just keep the same team going for a World Cup because you want to keep that same consistent. In my opinion, you do need to give you do need to give some players I don't know minutes. Um, I think the players that'll need to give some minutes will be maybe um at this moment in time when I'm recording, you know, Ian Henderson unfortunately has got um you know, I'm not gonna say the words, but uh, he's he's tested positive for a certain you know bars and uh, he will be back you know potentially until England. So um he's out for that for the Italy game, but. Uh, it's a bit of a bummer because of the uh, Ulsterman, but you know I'm an Irish, so um, I support any player that goes out. So, uh, so I think for me, James Ryan will, will be in the side. I believe. Um, I think he'll be on side maybe Ryan Bird or Ty Burn again. Um, we'll have to wait and see. Um, I think for me, six, seven, and eight. I think Peter Mahoney will start alongside. Um, I don't know if next time he'll get. Uh, I'd love to see the next time he gets some minutes, but um, you know, just find a very good way to move on. You just don't know. I think number eight, it could be Jack Conor or Ken Dorsch for me uh, at that stage. But uh, yeah, the nine and ten, I think Conor Murray will start alongside Johnny Saxon. I think Johnny Saxon has done his press conference and he's definitely guaranteed to start. You know, um, ahead of the game. Um, so uh, that's what my nine and ten is. Um, one, the ones, number one, two and three. I think uh, Dan, I think. See, for me, I mean, it's number two, Rowan Carter's out for an injury now. He'll be out for the rest of the nations. Um, the question is, is it Dan Sheen or Rob Howard? For me, the way I see it, I would I would go more Rob Hearn. And the reason for that would be more he's got more experience. You know, yes, Dan Sheen's learning and he'll hopefully he'll become a good player, but I think for me, you need know, plenty of experience, you know, in the squad. I think Rob Hearn is the perfect man to, to, to do that really. Um in the, in the rest of these games, I think you know when I like to see Rob Hearn and Andrew Poor and Ty Ford the big games, but I think this game you, you could see a, you could see uh I don't know if Keen Haley gets started, you could see Keen Haley Hearn or Balaam, in my opinion. Um who knows? Uh, you know, I think the I would love to see Rob Balkin get a start uh, against that city. I think um, he's the backup towards Conway, uh, you know Conway, and you know you know Matt Hansen at the moment. But you know you, you, we 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 just seen Jimmy O'Brien and Julie James Lowe come in very um, early on in terms of um, getting quick call ups to the squad. Um, will James will James Lowe get a start ahead of him? Who knows? Uh, I think the centres. Um, I like to see James Hume and. Uh, I would like to see James Hume and Robbie Henshaw get a, a chance to show um, a bit of partnership there. I think James Hume would. Uh, he's a, definitely not a common player. Which, that's a bit of day. He's been, definitely been starring for Ulster. I think he's been the Ulster's player of the season so far. Um, if we could see James Hume in there. And I think 15, it would be. Um, I think, I, I think I, I, I'd like to see Michael Lowry in there. It would surprise me if he went with Hugo Keenan again, but I would like to see Michael like Lowry in there. But uh, that would be my squad ahead of the game. I think that's a little bit. See, there's a lot of talk lately from Italy's past result against England that Italy have hit rock bottom, have, have hit rock bottom and um, where do they go next? It's uh, it's really hard to see in terms of where that's going to go. I mean, it, do you bring in a relegation and a promotion in, into the they go for? I mean, there's even talks in South Africa. There were talks in South Africa may have come in, but the, 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 the Six Nations have played down that 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 part that the you know um that 
South Africa have any no part playing it. I hope so because I want. I think for this to work, to work going forward, I would need to see if Ivern improve from Italy or else in a promotion relegation from more teams to come in. But who knows? Um, I think for me the, for the Italy game on Sunday, um, I, th I think Ireland are going to smash them in my opinion. Um, I think Ireland are, are probably going to win around sixty points. Is the is my prediction? You know. Because I just think it'd be so easy for this Ireland team to really dominate this Italy pack and we're not show, show no improvements. But uh, uh, let's just hope. Our, I think for our perspective, let's hope we get the bonus point and hopefully we can um, uh, get the bonus point and get as much points on the board and really um, go b keep contending for the title. Because you know England, Wales, Scotland, and France are really going to go for it. France will be the few things will be the dominance, but you know you never, you never know at this point. You can never know in the Six Nations at this point, so we'll have to wait and see. But um, big game. Well, let's hope Aaron get a bonus point on on Sunday, and we can move on to England after that. So uh, uh, that's my, that's it for me. I um, hope you enjoyed this match preview from outside my house, and um, there'll be a quick post match reaction as always after the game. Uh, I'll see you guys for then. So, but make sure to like, comment, subscribe, to Steam for our rugby, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you very much.